Hello, and in this video, we're going to be using Onshape uh, to create a box using those uh, three different pieces we've already created the side, the top slash bottom, and the back. I've already renamed the pieces so we know which one's the side, top, bottom, and back. Uh, and I've started a new assembly I've just created called this uh, box creation. Uh, so in this, we're just going to first start by adding the pieces we need. So I'm going to enter. Uh, we need one back, so I'm going to start by putting one back in. Uh, how it's oriented doesn't matter right now. We'll fix all the orientations when we get going. I have a lot of other pieces in here, and that's totally fine. Uh, but then we're going to add in the other the pieces we need. I have a side piece. I need two sides, obviously one for each side. And then I need a top and a bottom. So I put top and bottom in. Mine already have holes in it. If yours don't have holes in it, that's perfectly fine. Uh, you'll add some holes later on eventually. Uh, once you have all the pieces you know, need, we're going to add, hit the green check to save what we did, and we're going to start assembling this. To do this, we're going to use quite a few fasten mates. Uh, so the first one I'm going to do, I'm just going to get the center of my bottom, so whichever one you pick to be your bottom. And when I come to my origin, I'm going to fasten it to the origin, and I want to make sure that the blue arrow is facing up so my box goes upright. Uh, if you want to, you can rotate it so it faces a different direction. So I'm going to rotate it this way just so it opens up towards me. Hit the green check to accept, and that fixes our, uh, fastens our bottom to the origin. Uh, so now it's stuck in place. It's not going to move anywhere. Uh, once you have it fastened, uh, some people like to fix it in place. In this case, you don't need to because it's just going to uh, cause an error with your mate. Uh, it's already stuck there. Uh, then next, uh, it's really up to you what, which one you want to do next. I'm going to save the back for the end since it goes inside of everything. Uh, so I'm just going to start with one of my sides. So again, I'm on a fast mate. Uh, how you do this, we want to align it so that this side sits on top of this uh, bottom here. So you can get lots of different places. Uh, some people like to do corny, so I'm just going to do a front corny. So I'm going to get that front corny. The blue is facing in, and then I want the blue facing out there so it matches up. Hit our green check, and you can see it fixes it in place, fastens it to uh, that base. Uh, then we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So I'm going to get the corner again. I want my blue arrow, my blue line facing out, and then I'm gonna, just going to rotate my view so it's a little easier to see that opposite side we're going into. So I want again, I want my blue facing out, and it fixes it into place, so it fastens it into place. Uh, so that gives us our two side pieces. Uh, then next, I'll just put the top piece on. Uh, we can do the same overall principle we just looked at. Uh, so if I do this blue one, I'm going to do an edge and get it so my blue arrow is facing out. Uh, then I have to go on my top, and we want to think about how we want this oriented. In this case, since it's just a rectangle, we don't have to worry too much. Uh, but we got that inside there, so we want to make sure it matches up to an inside over here. Uh, so in this case, I have it flipped over, so I need to flip it on top. Just flip the primary axis, and it sits uh, right on top of my object. Hit our green check and then we got our top of our box created. Uh, finally we got to put our back in so I'm gonna move it a little bit just so we can see it better. And in this case my back it's oriented sideways. If you want to you can uh, get out your mate and rotate it so it's oriented correctly. Uh, you don't have to you can do that just by doing your mate. So I'm just gonna get this top left corner and when I rotate it down, it's going to match up to this back right corner. So I'm going to find what it matches up to, which is going to be the inside corner there. And I'm going to just match it up to that inside corner. Hit the green check. Again, I'm going to rotate it around. And in this case, uh, we want it to go interior, so I kind of picked the wrong spot. So I'm going to hit the X and redo that one. Uh, so when I do this fast and mate, I'm going to want the back side. So first time I did the front side, I want this back side if I'm going to go there. Uh, my blue arrow was facing backwards. That's fine. We can put the axis once we get it in place. Uh, but now that I got the back side, we can fit it into that location. So again, you want your blue arrow, blue line facing the correct direction. We put it in there. 
flip our axis and we can rotate it around where we need it to go. So once you have it flipped, you can rotate it around and get it where we need to fit in. And so that's created our box. It's fully fit in. Uh, we shouldn't have any interference. Uh, if you want to check your interference fit, you can always, uh, once you're out of your mates, you can hit the drop down and see what interference you have. Hit our interference detection, and you can see we have no interference. Uh, so hopefully this helps you to create your box. Uh, later on, we'll add our followers. This is going to be used for our autonomous box. Uh, thank you, and good luck.